Getting from point A to point B is never as easy as it seems. When going to a new destination, many are surprised by new laws and countries that ban certain things to keep tourists from doing them. From mosque twerking to swimming in certain places, here are things tourists are banned from doing. Hey guys, this is American Eye today. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 15, Mosque Dancing. Typically, when you go to a foreign country, it's best to act conservatively around their sacred sites. You might want to refrain from twerking, despite how tempting it might be. Two tourists that we see in this photo are believed to be from eastern China, hopped up onto a wall and allegedly started twerking. Locals of Borneo didn't find the dance moves to be too amusing on the other hand and notified authorities. While the girls thought it would be a viral video on Instagram, the people of the area felt as though it was disrespectful and banned all tourists from visiting it. It's probably safe to say you shouldn't do this at any religious site and not just this one. Number 14. Selfie Sticks Mayhem You might have thought selfie sticks were all the rage in new selfie-taking technology, but the Vatican doesn't approve. It's not just the Pope who doesn't approve of selfie sticks. Major tourist attractions across the globe have banned the device and are taking a stand on dumb travelers across the world. Even the happiest place on earth has put a ban on it because tourists are looking at themselves through selfie sticks and walking into people. Remember guns don't kill people, selfies do. We've discussed before in previous videos how selfies are dangerous and you can easily turn those selfie sticks into whipping devices. Lake Tahoe and the Coliseum have also banned it and you can even get a $17,000 fine in South Korea. Number 13, Flip Flops. Do you ever get tired of hearing the sound of flip flops and wish you can just move somewhere else where you never have to hear them again? Why don't you take a vacay to the island of Capri off the coast of Italy where flip flops are banned? Tourists who don't get the memo might have to pay a fine of up to $200. The fashion police are on patrol, everyone, and you better get some fancy Italian leather sandals at one of their gift shops instead. Swimmers on this mysterious island are not allowed to leave their towel on the beach or even to save a spot without risking a fine. Number 12. Hold it. People would be downright offended if you told them you peed in the pool if you're swimming together and they likely would get out of the water. Although it's tough to prove someone is committing this crime at the beach, if you pee in the ocean in Portugal, you could be facing some fines. It was probably just made up so the water wouldn't get too gross and people will enjoy swimming there. In general, it's probably just best you try to keep it in in any case because have some decency already. You don't sound too tough in jail if you gotta tell them you're locked up for breaking this rule. Number 11. Sandcastles, Seashells, and Fake Handbags we might remember as kids the great times we had building sandcastles and using our imagination. A beach town near Venice, Italy, called Oraclia, has banned the practice of constructing sandcastles since somehow they're related to crime or other things. The mayor of the tourist town actually didn't want to make things too easy for the tourists. Are gang members constructing sandcastles to mark their territory or something? Some lawmakers actually claim that they were dangerous to people who were walking around on the beach and they might not see them and fall. As humorous as it might sound, building a sandcastle could result in a huge fine here. And don't even think about trying to collect the seashells either. That's also banned in order to preserve some natural beauty to the location. Here, it is also your fault if you buy a fake Louis Vuitton bag, which can result in a $1,000 fine. Number 10. Showing your tats. In recent times, discrimination has had its toll on many different groups of people. But you may be surprised to hear that many countries have a serious taboo against tattoos. Tats haven't really caught on too well in Eastern Asia, and even Japan has had some connotations of people who are inked. It's not quite as common in their culture, and tats are almost exclusively reserved for organized crime syndicates here. Some businesses will even ban entry if your tattoos are visible, especially in bathhouses, gyms, and resorts. In holy places, it's much stricter, and other countries such as Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Malaysia frown upon tattoos. This is because they believe people who got tattoos wanted to change the way they were originally created. If a tourist shows up with any kind of Buddhist tattoo, they might feel as though you're seriously disrespecting their religion. So be sure to think about what your next tattoo means or even wear some long sleeves. In Vietnam, it's likely you won't even be able to enter a tattoo parlor because they're mostly banned. Number 9. Hoverboards you most likely won't be hovering around anytime soon on vacation, especially if you book a ticket with certain airlines. These nifty little transportation devices have officially been banned by several US airlines, claiming that they pose fire hazards on board. You might recall some of the Android Samsung foes exploding during a huge recall. 
It turns out that hoverboards might have a similar issue. The lithium-ion battery can burn quite intensely, and we suppose that it could be dangerous if some strange events happen. Airlines that have denied these include American Airlines, Air Canada, Qatar Airways, Virgin America, and Alaska Airlines. But it's not only airlines that are banning these from the streets. England's Windsor Park even put a ban on hovering around on these things, apparently by direct orders of the Queen. Thou shall not hoverboard. Number 8. Taking Photos in Kazakhstan If you want to catch one last photo of you and your family in the country of Kazakhstan while you're on vacation for some reason, you better watch out. There are many interesting Illuminati-like buildings that were recently constructed in the city of Astana which might intrigue visitors. Taking photos of the airports, military facilities, or any other government establishment is also illegal. The restrictions aren't always indicated, so it's common for tourists to be confused if some big Russian-speaking police officer starts trying to take their camera. Number 7. Eiffel Tower Photos at Night The Eiffel Tower is a well-known monument in the city of Paris, and tourists will travel all over the world to go and see it. But you're not allowed to take a photo of it at night and post on your social media. Taking photos of the Eiffel Tower during the day is totally fine since it's on public land and no one is going to cause any problems because of it. However, in 1985, the Eiffel Tower got a makeover with some fancy light shows. These shows are actually copyrighted by artist Pierre Bideau. Permission to use photos from the light show must be obtained by the Société d'Exploitation de la Tour Eiffel, so bonne chance. Number 6. Nudity Bands Many travelers may decide to hop on a plane, go on vacation, and remove as much clothing as possible in various locations. It might be smart though to keep your pants on if you're heading out to a few stricter countries. Recently there have been trends on Instagram where people are showing how they can enjoy the outdoors all naturel. In Switzerland, they made venturing into the wilderness nude illegal after a German man walked past a family picnicking and reimagined the kids were traumatized. This isn't the only touristic place where tourists are banned to bear it all. Tourist attractions such as Angkor Wat and Machu Picchu caused such a stir when nudists were found taking photos that they finally got more strict about it. There was also quite a bit of controversy as well when Carmen Deleuze posted a photo of her behind at the pyramids and was arrested. Number 5. High Heels in Athens You might think you're a Greek goddess and can do anything you want when you're on vacation, but that's not the case. Women and whoever decides to wear high heels may be asked to walk around barefoot while at famous buildings such as the Parthenon due to potentially wounding the surface of these remarkable ancient ruins. Greece needs these famous buildings or their tourist market would seriously suffer. Other historical sites such as the Amphitheater of Delphi have banned the shoe, so it at least gives an excuse to wear something more comfortable. Another rule to know when visiting famous ancient sites around the world is that food or drinks are not allowed since it tends to lead to littering. Make sure to respect other countries' national treasures and you'll be fine. Number 4. Swimming at the WW2 Memorial Recently, videos online have spread of people gathering at the WW2 Memorial in Washington, D.C. on a hot summer day, not necessarily to pay respect to fallen soldiers, but to take a swim in its refreshing fountain. It costs about $182 million to construct, including an amazing fountain as a centerpiece. Some veterans were outraged, claiming that people were disrespecting one of our national monuments. If they want to swim, go to a pool, right? Damage from tourists is something people don't often realize, but they manage to slowly erode pretty much everything they step on. It's unclear exactly how clean the water is, but the main goal is to keep people from making the water all grody and undesirable. A woman was discovered skinny dipping at the Bellagio fountains, but it seems like she got away with it. So try your luck in Vegas instead. Maybe if they just put some alligators at these fountains, people will stop swimming there? Number 3. Public Affection we all know that vacations can get a little bit more romantic at times, and certain cultures might be more liberal with showing their love for each other. But in certain countries, this definitely isn't the norm and not seen as acceptable. If you've seen the show, 90 Day Fiancé, Nicole from the US didn't understand why Muhammad from Morocco didn't want to hold her hand in public. The truth is, it would have been frowned upon by the locals, and it's the same way in most Islamic countries. Other countries have wanted to put an end to it, especially from the tourist population, due to how it slows down lines at the subway station. It's just best to use that hotel room you booked, right? Number 2. Don't touch the statues This one should be quite obvious, however most people don't get it. We understand that sometimes those statues might seem a little bit exposed and vulnerable, but if you don't control yourself, you could be in big trouble. A tourist from China was found to be fondling a statue from a wax museum in China, and there was quite a bit of outrage. One tourist from Finland even decided to chisel off a piece of ear from an Easter Island statue. He had to pay $17,000 as a punishment. And number 1. Bikinis 
Summer might not be the same without him, but if you go to some certain destinations, you might be just a little bit disappointed when you go to the beach. While the Maldives has plenty of spots where you can sport your swimsuit, there are still plenty of spots where they believe it's safest if you choose to wear something more modest. Anyone found walking around the streets of Barcelona with a bikini is subject to a fine, but it's totally fine to wear them at the beach. Westerners visiting Dubai have often been the complaint of many locals, and they still feel as though the bikini is not modest enough. On the flip side, countries in Europe encourage women to take off their burkinis, and they don't deem them as fit for the beach. In many places in Europe, wearing clothes that you can wear every day on the streets to a pool or beach is considered unsanitary and is banned. 